back again at the We Love Sound Takeover in Zagreb. We are here with our special guest from London, Enzo Siragusa. Hello, Enzo. Hey, how you doing? Uh, I want to know how it all started with the Fuse, you know, the, the, the organization, the idea, the people who were involved. Uh, it started, well, there wasn't much of an idea, it was just an after party. We had another big party that we used to do and Fuse was the after party. So it really was like, we didn't think about it, we're just 50 people having a party in the morning. And then it just grew and grew and then here we are, and it's just, it's Fuse that you see. Yes. Okay. When you look at it from the start and where you are now, how do you see Fuse involved, uh, getting bigger and bigger? Is it all uh, unexpected? Was it your dream or? Uh, for sure, it, it is like a dream to be honest, you know, because, but it's been very organic, you know, it's very natural um, and, and it's not something I want to force. It never has been. So it's just, it's just growing wherever it goes, it goes really, you know, it's um, still the same philosophy, you know, the, a group of friends that like to DJ together and have a lot of fun and, um, and that's, the family's got bigger. The yeah, okay, I, I understand. So you went step by step. Yeah. And then you got involved with the Sonos organization and you are playing there almost every year. So when did you start to feel like you want to move forward, you want to connect with someone else, someone else organizations? I think naturally you meet, you meet so many people along the way, you know, when you have a party and you meet people that are like-minded, you know. Um, and for sure when we hooked up with the Sonos uh, crew the first year, you, you see there's a, you know, there was a chemistry, so people like um, Dalibor and, and the crew, we just became friends, you know, so it's very natural, you know, so, and, it's, and that's the way I want, I want to keep it. Can you tell me something about uh, tomorrow's event? You're doing an after party, right? Yeah. Okay, so what is your main uh, object to look when you're playing uh, from 6 a.m. to, I don't know, 10 a.m.? So is it a different energy than the main night or? Yeah, for sure. I think uh, when you're doing uh, an after party, it's, it's more about the mood than the energy. Um, so, for example, at Sonus, when we do the after party there, you know, you feel it. You know, the, 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 the venue is has that feeling, you know, and you go in there and you play just different moody music and just you, you can go wherever you want, you know. That's the beauty of an after party. Oh. Can you share some uh, words about Sonus? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've I've really enjoyed playing there and kind of uh, I've seen you know we've grown with that the, that festival as well, um, so it's it's good because they they're bringing on board a more I, I don't like to say underground but for sure you know a, a more alternative sound to the mainstream kind of stuff you know people like Fuse and and many other artists that I've I've seen playing there so it's it's positive it's good. Is I want to ask you because I think it's more personal. It's when you did an Ascension X. So how was the feeling when Piton called you and say, "Hey, Enzo, do an Ascension X for me"? Sorry, who was this? Which one? Uh, Piton when the, ah, he asked yeah, you about yeah, the Ascension yeah, X. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was it was a big uh, big one for me because I grew up listening to the Essential Mix as a kid, you know. So uh, f yeah, when you get the phone call, it's like. <gasps> You're also shocked, okay? Is it seriously? Uh, I need to find some records now. It's like, oh. But yeah, it was a, it was a great, great thing to do for sure. Yeah, I, li I listened to it and I really liked. Do you know something about the creation scene and its uh, development? Uh, for example, uh, uh, during summer, you know, we have a lot of festivals. Uh, how do you think, uh, for example, uh, against uh, Ibiza? Because uh, they always say like uh, Croatia, similar to Ibiza, next to Ibiza. I think I think there's a, there's an opportunity here um, in Croatia because when you're bringing so many festivals from different parts of the world and and the, the promotion and network that they have that it brings new people and fresh people to, to Croatia but when you say about the Croatian scene there's some great DJs in this uh, region you know people from Valentino who's playing now Mariano who's going to be playing with us at the after party so there's a good local thing going on here as well so I, I think it's some it's a place that's growing Ibiza is a different place now but this is the beginning of something here so it's good it's very positive do your teammates you know Archie Hamilton the Roscoe were you all 
uh, from the beginning of France, so you started to become a uh, residence or? Yeah, Roscoe, uh, maybe let's say maybe 12, 15 years ago, Roscoe used to come and listen to me play. So he was just a clubber and he used to come and listen to me play. So I've known him for many years. Um, uh, people like Seb as well, you know, these are guys, they came from the dance floor, you know, from my dance floor. We were friends, just ravers. And um, now, uh, yeah, you know, they're residents. Archie came, I, I know him from Fuse, you know, so he used to used to come to the party and um, yeah, like I say, we all met on the dance floor, which is, is a good night. It's all about the energy that you felt together, yeah. I'm really looking forward to your set to th tonight as well as uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, can you please share some words to all the fans expecting you? Well, hopefully, uh, if you can't catch a set, but then hopefully we'll be seeing you here in Croatia another time, maybe a Sonus festival or somewhere else along the way. Don't miss it. We love sound. Enzo Siragusa, Fuse, London. See you guys. Bye bye.